Hello, one and all. Welcome back to the layout. There has been plenty of train weather, so to speak, here in California. Lots of rain, lots of storms. So I took that opportunity to make some progress on the layout. Most of my progress is doing some wiring and some electrical. As you can see here, I have the dealership lit up once again even back over there. Coming over to the town, I've done a lot of work immediately starting right after my last layout update. Uh, I've decided just to glue in this concrete pat uh, part and then we'll weather it later. Moving on back, I've finally decided on a configuration for the background grain elevator kit. This is somewhat kit bash, scratch build. Made a new top for the silos, and then I cut this tower kind of right here, spliced in the cylinders, what was the roof, and then made a little, I guess, I don't know what you call it, a compartment. Uh, I was just gonna have it go straight down, but it kind of covers the tracks. And then this is also originally part of the kit. I have the Amtrak sign once again animated on top. Looks really nice. Coming over here again, I have my street lights. Lots of them are working, still need to light up the KFC. And then I also have the building lights working yet again. Still need to put in uh, some curtains. And then I have that structure back there lit up with an incandescent bulb. Still need to put some curtains in for this kitchen, get a dining room table. And then this will be a wee bit hard to show you. I don't know, I don't know if I can do this one handed guys. Rawr. Oh no, I need to re glue that. Poo. Um, hold on. Let's see if we can do this. I don't think I can do this one handed. Alright, I'll be right back. And we are back, and I also added some extra light. I did an interior, or at least the shell of an interior for this Walters kit. Um, the way it works is it actually is, it's not glued in, but there's large modules that kind of hold it together. So, oops, this may not, well, let's see, this one may work, this may work. So here's one module. This will be uh, two bedrooms. That's the first piece that comes out, and that just goes right here for those windows. And then the next piece that comes out is the attached that I'll put I will put some stairs here and light those up and then I have a couple living dining rooms so this just pops right out so I have three levels the bottom will be a restaurant and then the two top will be part of a home or a condo an apartment complex there's that and then the last bit comes out this is a back wall that slides out like so. It's cut to fit into the structure and then these guys, these floors all slide out one by one individually, which will be useful for putting in interiors and lighting and wiring. So yeah, that was the first thing I did actually after the layout update. Uh, next step for this will be to paint it, of course, uh, all black, and then what I'll do is similar to what I did with this kit, which will be printing out little paper patterns. Let's see if I can get this off. Yeah, printing out paper patterns for the hardwood floors, or whatever floors, and then the uh, walls. And then chances are I will do LED lighting 
for, or I'll try out LED lighting for this kit. Uh, the incandescent's working out really nicely. Uh, obviously, for this structure, I need to get furniture and people and doors and probably straighten out some of the walls. But you get the picture. So yeah, that is most of the work I've been doing. Uh, a lot of the work has been underneath the layout. It's not as messy as it was. I finally got everything down permanently. Uh, I just need to tie up the wires. Here is my 12 volts. I think it's what, DC? Maybe it's AC, I don't know. Here's my 12 volt bus for accessories. There's a junction down there that it splits off to. Wiring's boring, I know, but there it is. I also have my Walter signals. These are the first run. I have those set up and they operate. I still need to get um, the one. I'm probably going to put the other one right here going in this direction or maybe I'll put it back there. So yeah, I've been busy with the layout happily. And I will, uh, I'll see you next time. Hopefully I'll work on the structures. We'll see. Boy.